Season seven, episode three, Queer Eye. You know Queer Eye, the show where they um, take someone really nice and they do really nice things for them? There's this guy, Speedy, he's a really nice guy and he deserves it, so the guys give him a bunch of really nice clothes and I want that for me. I'm, I want nice stuff and uh, specifically I want this cardigan that they gave Speedy. Um, but that cardigan was worth $800. I looked it up, I found it. I, I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on a cardigan. But lucky me, I'm really good at crocheting, I think. I'm kind of new at it, I started in September. But um, I've never made a cardigan before. I think I can make this cardigan. It's gonna take a lot of effort and a lot of time. Let's look at this cardigan a little bit more closely on the website that like the creators posted. I think this is like the original website and figure out what supplies I'm gonna need. And then I'm gonna go to Joanne's and I'm gonna get every piece of yarn that I hopefully need to make this happen. And I'll take y'all with me. So yeah, let's, let's head over to Joanne's. Okay. Okay, if I'm being honest, I, I already started. But that's because I was really excited. So I got all cotton yarns, right? This one is, I got this color and this color because I think these two would match really well as one of the granny squares. They have kind of a more of a, a yellow and like a different shade of blue, but I'm not trying to make exactly the same cardigan that they're making. I'm just trying to make whatever I want to make, right? Another flower could be this color. And then my background, they had kind of like a beigey color. I decided to get this yarn here in pink because I really like pink and I think it also makes it more not a direct copycat and more just like my personal touch to this thing. So yeah, but first I think I have to figure out exactly like what the granny square pattern is. And so that's gonna take a little trial and error. And from there I can probably just, just repeat. Rinse, repeat, measure myself, la la la. Okay, let's do that. Hey, pooch. All right, so let me show y'all what this cardigan looks like. Okay, so this cardigan, this is it. $795, that is so expensive. So you can see they have a close-up picture that shows actually what the texture of this cardigan is. And so let's go here. Okay. So I've been looking closely at the granny squares that they use in this cardigan, and I noticed something interesting, which is that normally a granny square I would think of as having this structure. Little Vs here representing those like three slip stitches, and then the little um, three sticks are like the granny stitches, right? But this granny square doesn't look like that. It looks really different. Or the, the outside of the granny stitch, this like beige layer, that actually does look like a regular granny stitch. And then one layer in, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yellow granny stitches, as we would expect, but they're split. So it's really more so the middle part that is different, where instead of it being split into fours, it's kind of split into eight like this. And I can't really tell what's going on in the middle, but it looks like these are double crochets. With that in mind, I'm gonna try to do that and then maybe have two slip stitches between, yeah, between each of these um, double crochets. And I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna do a couple uh, test squares and I'll show y'all what I'm up to. Okay. Hey everybody. <laughs> so it's day two. Um, I made some progress. I have a full-time job, it's a lot of work. And so I was crocheting, but I think I can do this in a week. That's my goal. I'm gonna do this whole thing in a week. We're doing it. It's gonna be great. Okay. Sorry to bother you, Pooch. Bye. Wednesday 
These guys are from Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, by the way. I made these a while back, a long, long time ago. So I have 32 of these now, and I have them in, like, every color combination. Um, I think I need 100 for the full thing. So it's it's Wednesday, and I have, like, a third of these done. Um, do I think I'll be able to get this done by, like, Saturday, Sunday? I don't think so. But I'm still going to try. squares as I could so I just like sat down and watched catfish and made I try to make 10 of each type I managed to get four complete ones of this kind and 10 of these and 10 of these so I went from 32 42 52 54 and like a and like a half so Pretty good for a Wednesday, I think I've caught up. Um, I still need a lot more, but yeah, I'll talk another day. Okay. Hello, good morning. So it's Thursday. I have made a ton of these. Um, I have to go to work, but before I go to work, I wanna just measure out and make sure that I'm not like going overboard on these. But yeah, I'm gonna just take a t-shirt that I know fits me like pretty tight and then make sure that it's bigger than the t-shirt. Let me show y'all what that looks like in a second. Look how many I have. Isn't that crazy? I have made so many of these. Okay, let's just figure out if this is insane, like if this is too much or not. Okay, so the pattern that they use is three on each side. And they're kind of staggered like this. Hey, Pooch! And then three on the other side. Um, and then the bottom, I'll, I probably can get away with leaving quite a bit of space because their trim is pretty long. So I'm going to do that and then, yeah, let's just stack them up and see where it takes us. I do like what it looks like. I do have, you do have to imagine too, there's ribbing in the middle. Um, there's ribbing on the sides, so it's gonna be a lot, a little bit wider than this for sure. Um, but not that much longer. So, yeah, I think, I, I think I got it. I think that's like about the right size of a square, and the pattern does look right. Um, the colors are fun. The pink that I picked was specifically this like very dull pink, this very smoky kind of like powdery pink uh, and I think it goes really well against these like really bright colors to make it look more like a neutral uh, just like a warm neutral so yes everything's going great okay Yay! my hands are like this finger hurts so much from crocheting all those squares I managed to make around Managed to make six more at work. So I'm gonna try joining a couple of these just to see where it goes. And you can see I've attached a lot of these. And before I forget to show y'all, I just wanna show you how I did it. And I'm gonna take two squares that should be next to each other like this and have their faces. They wanna face the outside, kind of facing each other. Then I take some of this pink yarn. I attach it to one of the corners, make a little single crochet, and I attach the corner of the other square, also with a single crochet, and then I do three chains, and then there's another space, two, three, four spaces in total. So I'm gonna do a single crochet in each space for the first the front square, and then for the back square, so here. And I'm gonna do one, two, three more chain stitches. Again, single crochet in 
space number three for the front, for the back, one, two, three chain stitches, single crochet front, back, and then before doing three more chain stitches, I'm gonna go to the next square in the line and do another single crochet there and also pick up the next square face uh, faces that are going to be out facing each other and do a single crochet in that corner chain stitch one two three and the pattern continues hi yeah good morning y'all it is friday i have all this sorry am i being loud oh. she doesn't like it bye pooge <laughs> It's Friday morning, I have to go to work, but um, I basically did the entire back and most of the front already. Um, I think it's looking really great. I've looked at the pattern a little further since doing this and I've noticed that the center should have been like a triple crochet instead of a double crochet, but whatever. Uh, it still looks good. Um, and. Yeah, I'm going to have to go to Joanne's because I ran out of pink and I need to make more of these and I still need to attach things better. But I just don't have enough pink and I need pink for everything. So yeah, that's that's the updates. Um, and maybe see y'all in Joanne's later today. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>
that I saw on that show. I guess this one's pink, whatever. Almost <laughs> the same situation. And for it to be a cardigan, I need to make the sleep. So I'm missing a couple of granny squares. I will be making those. I'm so close. I like already have my sleeve laid out. Um, it was kind of hard to figure out how to make granny squares into like a sleeve because there's more up here and less up here. So there's like a couple of triangles I have to put in here and there. I'm also running out of the pink and I took all that there was left at the Joann's and I know that they're not going to replenish it like really quickly. It was on sale for a reason. They're trying to get rid of it. So I do have like a, a whip, a work in progress that has some of this pink yarn in it that I might just pull out of that and that's fine. But yeah, this is where I'm at. Um, and I will see y'all on Tuesday, probably with the sleeves done and everything. And I'm so glad I'm finishing on a Tuesday because I have so much film to edit through. And I'm trying to like publish this at the same time as a pattern with the full thing in it. So yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Okay, <laughs> good night. Good morning. It's Tuesday, and I think I finally figured out how to do the sleeves. So I'm doing these triple crochet one, two, three granny stitches here to change rows from six to five to four to three. Um, three is the best size for my wrist. I'm sticking these granny squares together right now. I think I finally made enough and actually have a couple extra to finish this entire project. So pretty excited about that. But I'm gonna add just like a really nice long ribbing um, I still have this much pink yarn. Hopefully it's enough to stick everything together and yeah, we'll see. Okay. To connect the sleeve. Oh, good morning, Pooj. So to connect the sleeve, I have the sleeve right side in and the actual torso inside out. And I want these triangles to be in the bottom so on this side and on the back. So this is the back, whereas this is the front. So this triangle here binds to this square, then this square binds to this square, this one to this one, so on and so forth, all the way around. Hi, so I had to set up the tripod for this because I'm, I'm just really excited. Like, I just stuck on the sleeve and the fit is like, it's perfect. Like, imagine this amount of ribbing right here exactly the length I need it to be and it fits just like super well um, it's gonna loosen up when I crochet when I wash it but a couple thoughts that went through my head is one this is why I like to use really fine cotton yarn uh, the cotton being washable but like the fine and by fine I mean like I'm using like a 3.5 millimeter hook it's like a 3.75 or 3.5 yarn um, it really allows you to like measure if you measure things out have something that's like not too thick and you can measure to be like exactly the size that you want it to be. I also got kind of lucky with like the size and number of granny squares because everything that I'm doing is in intervals of like three inches. So it might have been three inches too big or too small here and there, but um, yeah, I'm finishing this today and this is what it looks like. Yeah, let me show you really close up. So these are the sleeves. <laughs> little armpit so here you can see in the armpit that like there's like an extra triangle here and here and here I've, I'm still like going back and forth on this pink situation because I wanted the pink to be just very very neutral uh, I really wanted just like a beige color or like a brown but they didn't have any so uh, I stuck with pink and I think it works. I think it's like neutral enough, but if you can find some brownish beige, I think it would work better because this is like a lot of colors and with pink on top of it, it's kind of too much. I can rock it. I don't know about you, but I can do it. I can make it look good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna finish. Yeah, I'm just gonna blah, blah, blah. Hopefully I have enough yarn. I don't think I have enough yarn. I'm gonna have, probably have to take, out, uh, take apart my work in progress that I didn't even know what I was gonna do with it. I was just making a big rectangle because I like to just stitch. So uh, if I have to do that, I'll tell you, but I don't know. Okay, <laughs> bye. Hey folks, 
So now that it's all done, finally, I started blocking it so it's wet. Um, and I noticed something, which is when I wear it and I have my arms down, there seems to be a, like a lot of excess fabric down here. What's causing this excess fabric to be here is that the sleeves, I think, should be tied backwards. So these little triangles that are on the bottom side of the sleeve, um, I would actually put those on the top. Yes, it'll be more visible, but then it'll also fit a little bit more nicely. So this is it. Uh, I wanted to work a couple times now. I'm really happy with it. So things that I would change. One is, um, and everything that I'm mentioning now is gonna be reflected in the pattern that I have on my Etsy that I'll probably release pretty much at the same time as this video. Um, do treble crochets here in the middle. That'll give it a little bit more of a, a spin. Don't use pink, use like, I don't know, brown or black. Pink is good, I'm happy with it, but I think uh, that might have looked a little better, more neutral since there's already a lot of colors happening here. Um, and also it didn't really stretch when I blocked it or, or put it in the washing machine um, or as I've worn it. So just make sure to make it the size that you want it to actually be because it seems to just stay the size that I made it. Um, last thing, the sleeves I should have put upside down. I think I already mentioned that before, but yeah. Other than that, like this fit is really great. I'm very happy with it. Thank you so much for watching me make it. And uh, if you want to watch me make other things, follow along. Okay. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>